They're here in stealth. They're here in stealth. We can't quite see them. This morning's Art Ella Cart, we're learning about <laughs> yarn bombing. The Cades Pavilion at the Honolulu Museum of Art, a Spalding House, explain what this means. A member of the Fuzz Yarn Bombing crew here this morning. Marco Perligo. Mm -hmm. Marco Perligo is here along with um, Aaron Padilla. Thanks for being here, Aaron. Okay, so this is just too fun. I was I was <laughs> laughing at it before because I didn't realize initially that that was that's a yarn. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not staying on my face okay, what, real. <laughs> what, what is yarn bombing? What is this? Yarn bombing is a form of graffiti street art that instead of using paint or chalk, it uses a natural well fibers. It uses okay. yarn to put. A surface covering over some existing structure. I in think this we case. have some really cool pictures too, because you guys have been having all kinds of fun with this. What in the world is that? All yarn? It is. Oh my gosh! It's about a thousand square feet of yarn. A thousand square feet of yarn. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> how did this? Pro oh my goodness! It's like a big sock over the entire building. <laughs> so how did this come up with the, this project with the Case Pavilion? Well, it's uh, something that uh, Michelle and I have. I'm, oops, I'm sorry. I just, oh, no. We're going to have to that out. and I uh, were working on, um, <laughs> for, this is actually our second project together. Uh, we, we met each other at the museum way back, and I was looking at uh, websites and, and discovered this thing called International Yarn Bombing Day, where uh, yarn bombers and uh, uh, people who work in this media go ahead and, and cover objects all over the world. And um, so this is our second project together, and we thought it'd be a great idea to cover one of the buildings at the museum. It, it almost looks yeah. like it was pixelated, you know, like if something's naked and you're not supposed to see exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed but to be that's camouflage. <laughs> that's completely yarn. So how long does this take? I mean, something like that you saw the squares closer up. Um, it depends a lot on your knitting speed or your the speed at which you can crochet. Some people work very slowly and meticulously. Uh -huh. um, we had some children that were working on part of the project, but then on the other hand. I get down to business when I do a big project like this, and I even have a knitting machine that I use to partially automate wow. some of my production. It's wow. still not electronic. I still do it by hand, but it, it does take a good I think I know time. what's going to happen uh, come Halloween. I think this is going to be a huge <laughs> hit. <laughs> okay, so where else can people uh, find out about this? This is really fun. There's a website called Ravelry.com, which is a clearinghouse for all kinds of information about knitting, crocheting, spinning, weaving, and there are forums on that group that are even dedicated to yarn bombing. So this, this kind of art is happening all over the world. It's quite okay. exciting. And at the Honolulu Museum of Art? Yes, you can just find it on our website. And you know, these are the kinds of uh, programs and events that we do at Spalding House that kind of um, surprise and delight our audience as they come up to the museum. So the project cool. has withstood three tropical storms exactly. so far. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you go ahead and scratch underneath <laughs> Thank that you. <laughs>